Have you ever found yourself staring at a beautifully crafted environment and wondering how it's even possible to create something so detailed? Well, wonder no more. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick to take your grass and foliage placement to the next level. By using the foliage placement tool and Z offset parameter, you can easily create a realistic and natural environment. We will be focusing on how to correctly place leaves on grasses to create a seamless and organic look. But that's not all. We'll also be discussing how to use the Z offset parameter to control the height of your foliage, allowing you to create a sense of depth and variation in your environment. So join me on this journey as we dive into the world of foliage placement and take your environments to the next level. All right, first of all, let's take a look to the Unreal Engine's marketplace. And as you can see, I have used this broad leaf on the growth package and it cost about seven euros to me, but it's worth it. I mean, this package is a real game changer and the meshes are awesome and I really enjoyed to use them in my projects. So I highly recommend you to use this package in your projects because I know that it would be so useful to you. So let's just continue. I am going to change the mode to the foliage. And as you can see, here are the leaves that I have used in this project and the landscape. So let me just erase them so you would better understand the process of placement of these leaves. Let me just increase the brush size and with one click, they're all gone. So let's just go back to the paint mode. Yes. And it is time to add these leaves to the landscape without touching any parameters. Let me just reset them and set them on the default. And right now I am adding the leaves to the landscape, but you cannot see anything. And the reason is the grass that we used in this project has placed by foliage. Okay, so when we are going to add leaves to our project, also with foliage technique, it's going to place beneath the grass. So in the blank space like this one, we can see the leaves, but on the other sides that we have grass, we cannot, and we're not able to see the leaves that we have placed. So I'm going to erase them even though we cannot see them but we have leaves in our project we place them just we're not able to see them so in this regard i am going to let me just add a bit variation in terms of size using the scale and here we have the placement section and in this section we have a parameter called z offset which allows us to place the selected foliages in a specified height from the landscape and right now you're able to see the leaves that we are adding to our project because we set the z offset to 20 centimeter and it is placing 20 centimeter above the ground and the landscape but in order to add some variation in terms of height to these leaves i'm going to set the minimum z offset to something like 12 and the max to 18 I think would be okay and right now we're acting like pros because we are simulating the details of real world and I mean in the real world the leaves are not accurately 20 centimeter about the grasses or landscape or whatever we have some of them are between them I mean they're stocked between the grasses. Some of them are above the grasses and some of them are beneath them. And this minimum and maximum Z offset parameter allows us to simulate this phenomena so accurately and good. And as you can see, attention to detail is critical when it comes to creating realistic and immersive environments in Unreal Engine. By carefully adjusting parameters like foliage placement, you can achieve stunning results that will truly amaze your audience. Remember to always experiment with different settings and techniques to find the perfect balance for your scene. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest tutorials and tips. 
Thank you for watching and happy designing.